Hello. I want to read today from Mark chapter 11, verses 15 to 18. On reaching Jerusalem, Jesus entered the temple courts and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves, and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. And as he taught them, he said, Is it not written, My house will be called a house of prayer for all nations? but you have made it a den of robbers. The chief priests and the teachers of the law heard this and began looking for a way to kill him, for they feared him because the whole crowd was amazed at his teaching. You know, Jesus' ministry was very disruptive. He kept disrupting the systems that were put in place by the religious leaders. And here on the last week, he comes into the temples and he literally disrupts the temple systems. I think times in our lives um, that are disrupted are some of the times we're most open to change, most open to hearing from Jesus. I think of a unexpected funeral, someone very close who passes away. You know, all the things that mattered yesterday don't matter today. I think of Paul being knocked off his horse. All those accolades he built didn't matter. He was open for change. We're living in a time where everyone's disrupted. Everything's disruptive right now. And I think it's a time that we can look to Jesus and ask the questions. What is it that you want from us? As we celebrate Holy Week this week and go through the last week of Jesus, I pray that that would be what God does in our lives. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for times of disruption. As hard as they are, as tough as they can be, we know that you're in it. You haven't gone anywhere. And you still want to be and desire to be a part of our lives. God, use this time now that we can hear from you. We love you, Jesus. Amen.